Uh, I've been, I mean, you know, I've been trying to figure that out ever since I came out of the game. Um, you know, uh, I, I uh, just watched the tape. Um, felt like, felt like um, I couldn't get him to swing and miss. I had zero swing and misses, so that that's kind of the biggest red flag. Um, a lot of close pitches that were taken, really good at bats by them. And um, you know, when I did throw it over the middle, they hit it really hard. So it's obviously a, a recipe for a disastrous inning, but. Um, I don't know. I've never quite had anything quite like that before. So just trying to digest it now a little bit. How tough is that to take, especially considering the state of the team right now? It's tough. It's the worst feeling in the world. You know, you let you let your team down and, um, you know, we really wanted to win tonight, obviously um, been grinding here as a unit. So it hurts uh, a lot. But, um, you know, that's the nature of the game. Uh, you sign up for it. So try to put it behind uh, behind me and behind us and keep going forward. Take the next one from Marley Rivera. Hi, Adam. You're someone who is always very accountable. Um, how difficult is it to be in the clubhouse today knowing how important this game was for your team? Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's always tough when you're the, you feel like you're the reason why uh, I lost the game. So, you know, it's always tough. I mean, I've been in a situation a few times uh, with the teammates. So, you know, it's nothing new. Um, know how to handle it. And, uh, but at the same time, I mean, you know, obviously I uh, want to do better and um, feel like I should always do a lot better than that. So it's just, it's just a tough feeling. But like I said, uh, you try to take the emotion out of it because it's over now. I can't change it now. Are you someone that can turn that page very quickly? Uh, gotten better at it over my career. Uh, but uh, my personality is to hold these things with me a little while. I mean, say the truth. So, uh, but again, like I really try to do a good job of stripping away the external noise and the, the emotion behind it and get after it tomorrow and try to be confident and, you know, uh, get on a roll here. Thank you very much. Thanks. Next one to Christy Ackert. Hi, Adam. You said that when you don't get the swings and misses like that, that's a red flag for you. What is it a red flag that it indicates to you? What does that indicate that's coming? It's just bizarre. I mean, my, myself and Greeny didn't get any swing and misses that whole inning. That you know, We're both well above average swing and miss pitchers, so kind of rely a lot on that. I'm not pitching a contact out there. I'm trying to strike guys out, so not getting swing and misses. It's an indication that either my stuff wasn't, wasn't good, my location wasn't good, or that they had something on me, you know, they, they had a great approach or knew, knew what was coming or any of that. But I don't have any of those answers right now. All I know is that I didn't get it done and I got to go back and look, in, look inside myself, figure out, figure out what to do next.